In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a clip like this using an app called Stop Motion Studio Pro. Lights. Camera. And Lego. There are two ways in making your minifigure mouth move. The first way is the beginner way, and that is by finding like minifigure heads and changing them between frames like this. But for this tutorial, I'll be using an app called Stop Motion Studio Pro. You can buy it in the App Store on Android and on iOS. Today I'll be changing the face expression digitally using the app. This app is really helpful and great to use, and you only have to pay around $5. If you want a full tutorial on the basics, I have already made a video and it will be in the description. To start off, hop into the app and start taking photos of the minifigure you want talking. Make sure it has no face on it. You can animate arms moving up and down and add actions in the background if wanted. After you are done, select the frame you want to edit. It should come up with several options to choose from. Click edit and then press the plus button on the top right of the screen. Select face and it should automatically place the default minifigure face on your screen. Resize it to fit your minifigure. Once you are happy with the size, you can click edit. It comes up with a whole bunch of useful settings. The first one is if you want to rotate your face at a 3D angle. The next setting is to change the mouth. It can be female or male. Try to match what the person is saying to how their mouth looks. If a minifigure is saying E's or A's, then the mouth should look wide. Moving to the right, you can have the option to change the look of the eyes. The next setting is to rotate the face at a 2D angle. Maybe your minifigure is upside down. It's completely up to you. The last setting is how transparent you want the face to be. So maybe there is fog and it makes it hard to see the face. Once you are happy with that frame, click done and the back arrow. Then move on to the next frame until all frames are done. Here's a short time lapse of me finishing off each frame. Here is my end result. Comparing this to the last clip, the digital one looks way better than the first one. As I said before, a beginner tutorial of how to use Stop Motion Studio Pro is in the description. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you found this tutorial useful. See you next time. Like and subscribe or watch another video. Thank you.